Oh hi, I'm Katie Jane Hughes. I'm a makeup artist and this is my YouTube channel. This is Uncut with KJH, an unedited video series where you get to see all the stuff, the mistakes and all is what I mean by that. Because we all make mistakes, even the professionals. Anyway, I am um, about to go get my hair cut. Um, I'm having it, the weight taken out of it or maybe going shorter. I haven't decided. I'm gonna let Erickson and my friend who is gonna cut my hair decide. And I've decided that um, the other day I was like not feeling so hot. I had like a cold, I had strep throat at the same time. And there comes a point in when you're be when, when I'm particularly not feeling so well in which I need to like pull myself out of it. Obviously you need to give yourself time to rest. You need to give yourself time to sort of recoup and get better. But I think when you do have the energy to do that, I always find that it helps pull me through because it gives me, it gives me like a little bit of a boost to sort of, you know, get better um and I don't know whether that's just a me it's probably not just a me thing I'm sure many people feel like that but maybe you also haven't tried it yet and you don't know but I think like there's I think <clears throat> I think sitting around feeling somewhat okay but you've been in this like slump of not feeling very well for a while can sometimes make you feel worse when you don't need to feel worse if that makes any sense it's like if you have the energy even just five minutes to spend on yourself to either wash your hair or to put a lipstick on or to just do something for you. It can be vanity based or not. It doesn't really matter. It could be going for a walk and getting yourself, treating yourself to an iced coffee. It doesn't matter what it is. But for me, it's beauty. And just like pulling myself out of it by getting back into my groove and getting into my, fl my flow and my, my routine helps me feel better um, after I've not been well. So that was a, a one minute, 45 second um, long rant about how I pull myself out of a health funk. So I'm going to get started. This is the Yummy Skin Balm from Danessa Myricks. It's actually a tinted moisturizer type. Very different texture than what I felt before. I would say if I could compare it to anything, I would say like maybe like a thinner, more loose, liquidy version of like an It Cosmetic CC cream, but really sheer and glossy at the same time and has like this beautiful finish, like gorgeous finish. This is the shade number three. I'm using my phone as my mirror, so I'm looking at myself versus through the camera lens and um i'm using a little app called pro movie recorder because i'm shooting on my front camera of my phone in 4k 330 frames per second all right so that was done tinted moisturizer is something that i would basically put over the entire surface of the face concealer or foundation foundation i would too when i use concealer i pretty much will use concealer in a way that feels a little bit more like spot treatment just like in certain parts and zones and areas that don't um, sort of give the whole face like a, a sort of a canvas. But a tinted moisturizer is sheer and therefore kind of just looks like your skin, but better. And so therefore I think it can go over the entire surface of the face. Um, but I would though pair this with a concealer in certain parts a bit more concentrated. So actually I'm, I was gonna use this, but I'm not anymore. I'm gonna go for the, this is the Dior one, which I love. But just to give you an example, my skin is nice and dewy and balmy right now. I didn't do any skin prep um, simply because I forgot. But also sometimes I don't like to do my skin prep because your skin prep is specific to you. I don't always need to show mine off. You do your skin prep and then you put whatever products you like over the top. This is like a little small domed brush. This is a, I mean, a sort of pinched fluffy brush. Uh, number 12 Pro from Sephora. The reason why I've decided to segue into a different concealer is because this is a matte finish concealer and I want a little bit more of that sort of matte finish and matte control in the T-zone. I could actually, if I'm wanting to um, sort of shop only Danessa for the complexion, because I know that's easy, you could for you to like shop one place, I could take the Yummy Skin Balm and use the matte finish of this because this actually is quite comparable to this. So this is a foundation version of this essentially. Um, one's a concealer, one's a foundation, but this, would do a similar thing. So I'm actually gonna continue with this just so that if you're on Danessa.com and you're like, which two complexion products do I might wanna try? These two I actually do think would be amazing. Best, best, best friends in the complexion sense. And just using this to sort of control the shine where you want a little bit more control in the shine spectrum. So then just applying it around any areas where I would have a little bit more coverage needed or wanted or whatever. And then I'm just gonna place this down for now. I'm gonna close up my other things. I definitely still sound a little off. I've got head strep and had a cold all in the same week. So when I'm not feeling my best and I don't wanna spend an hour on my makeup, I really will just do the basics and just do some simple little things. This is a new Mario blush. It's called Perfect Pink. 
soft pop plumping veil. So I'm just gonna go quite generous with that because it's a soft shade. I need to take these lines off my screen so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. So just popping that on there. That's better. Okay. And this is this is very true to what it looks like. It's probably a little bit more saturated, saturated in real life than what it's looking like on the camera. Um but that's fine. So just a little bit of a bit of colour. And then a bit of contour. I always like to feel when I'm when I've not been feeling my best, I definitely feel puffy um and swollen. So I pretty much will always contour on a day where I'm sort of, you know, feeling a bit meh. This is the M Cosmetics sculpt stick in the shade Terra, T-E-R-A. And a little bit goes a long way. Like it's a very, very, very um concentrated product, meaning um, it's rich in pigment and it's quick in payoff. So you don't really need that much. You just need a little, little bit. And then with what's left in that brush, I'm just gonna go in there. Just do a little pinpoint sort of contour. I like to sometimes not take it all the way from ear to mouth because I feel like sometimes that can be a bit overkill. It's not necessary, but finding a point in where your skin, where your face, contours when you talk you can see mine quite vividly when I'm talking because the shadows I've got no fill lights from the side of my head so you can really see them um I just enhance those shadows that are already there um I just put a little bit of a pop of light in there essentially a pop of a pop of shadow in there I mean and then if I want to I can actually use this little brush this is the number four brush from Rose Ink which I love and I'll use this contour stick to do a little pre-lip fluff shadow just there so all of these steps are optional like at the end of the day anything in makeup is personal choice you do what you want to do in your routine to feel like yourself um and that might be one thing on a monday it might be a whole other thing on a tuesday um and i feel like for me my basics that i always hit are just like a little bit of complexion a little bit of contour a little bit of blush um and then the contour sort of in a few areas that might be a little bit more um, unique, not unique, but nothing unique about, about this. It's more just, might not be your, everyone else's norm. It's Tower 28 Make Waves. Love this mascara so much. It's the best. For example. Um, and then I'm just going to add a tiny bit of this to the lip with a brush that already has something pink in there. So I wash my personal brushes like once a week. My work brushes I wash every day. I definitely need powder because it's very warm in this apartment. It's like humid outside today. And so I am sweating a little. This is my personal one, hence why I'm going straight into the pen. And then if I feel like I need a little bit more shadow, I'll go in with Endless Cacao. Just like browns and pinks and beiges and taupes are really, really pretty sort of defining colors. The deeper the complexion, the deeper the tones would go. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take a little bit of liner. This is the twin liner in black and Nero from Valentino. I'm just going to do a little wing, easy, simple, just like not too much pressure. Just like a little that done. Just like quick and easy, not really focusing too much on it. Sometimes I feel like the quicker and like the quick, quick and dirty the effect is nicer than if you sort of focus for too long. But you can also take little brushes, any angled eyeliner brush or eyebrow brush or whatever, and just stretch the color a little. Don't underestimate the power of the stretch of the product powder. Because, you know, 
can't leave it like this. You could if you like a dewy, dewy, dewy look, but I'm just gonna take my very open, exposed, naked pan of Tilbury powder number one. I use this powder in my kit in all shades and I always lose them because I always end up having to send it out with a client because they uh, they love to go out with a powder if you don't, um, if you're not going with them. And I can go pretty liberal with this powder because I'm, this brush is quite soft. If it was a dense sort of brush like this, it would probably apply the powder heavier. And also I'm quite balmy. And while I've got this open and out, I'm just gonna do a little definition of those. I sometimes use a freckle pen, but this is the most natural. And that, my friends, is how I make myself feel better when I've not been feeling very well. I hope this was enjoyable. I hope you learned something new. Um, if you want to make your eyelids not greasy and creasy like these, I actually like the way this looks, but if I did want to control the shine, I would just take the brush that I used for my concealer earlier and just pop a little bit on, or even maybe something shimmery, um, just for a little bit of something soft and pearly on there. Did I just ruin my eyeliner? No, we're good. We're good. Thanks for watching. Have any questions in the comments below. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do. I would love to have you here for a while. Okay, bye.